clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Good morning, everyone. It's Jenny from the Middlesex Early On team. And today I'm outside because today we're going to be singing about bugs. Have you been seeing bugs outside yet or even inside your house? I have. I've seen spiders and ants and slowly the bees are coming out too. So we're going to sing about all the different uh, bugs that we see. But first, can you guess that my friend is back? Say hi to Elmer. Hi everybody. So we're gonna sing and let's see if you can hear your name today. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, an elephant sat on you. Willoughby Wallaby Wee, an elephant sat on me. Willoughby Wallaby Woowin, an elephant sat on Rowan. Willoughby Wallaby Wesra. An elephant sat on Ezra, Willoughby Wallaby Wallix. An elephant sat on Alex, Willoughby Wallaby Wara. An elephant sat on Ora, Willoughby Wallaby Wamison. An elephant sat on Jameson. Willoughby Wallaby Wirtis, an elephant sat on Curtis. Bye, my friends. See you next time. So, if you have a spider or a cutout spider, you can get that out. And we're going to sing Itsy Bitsy Spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Up next, if you have a bee, do a cutout bee or if you have a stuffy and bees like to fly and catch it I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee won't my mommy be so proud of me I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee oh it stung me I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Oh, now it's all over me. I'm wiping up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping up my baby bumblebee. Look, it's all clean. So have you seen butterflies flying around? Or if not, maybe did you know that caterpillars, if you might have seen the caterpillar, that they turn into butterflies later. So let's count how many butterflies we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five little butterflies by the door. One flew away. Then there were four, four little butterflies by the tree. One flew away. Then there were three, three little butterflies.
butterflies up in the blue. One flew away. And then there were two. Two little butterflies out in the sun. One flew away. And then there was one. One little butterfly, now all alone. She was so lonely. She flew home. If you get your hands up, open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. And give a and whoops and put them in your lap lap lap. That means it's story time. And this is one of my favorite bugs. Is the ladybug. Now this story is called the Grouchy Ladybug. And the author is Eric Carl. So let's find out why this ladybug is so grouchy. And hopefully we can cheer him up. Okay, so there's the ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. I saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. <coughs> At seven o'clock, it met a stag beagle. Beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. clap and say goodbye we clap and say goodbye with our friends at story time we clap and say goodbye we stomp and say goodbye we stomp and say goodbye with our friends at story time we stomp and say goodbye we wave and say goodbye we wave and say goodbye 
with our friends at story time we wave and say goodbye goodbye everyone have a great day see you next time